hey it's ams and welcome to my channel if you're new here please subscribe and if you're turning welcome back so in today's video i'm in collab with ashamir here and i'll be showing you a water wave unit install and style so let's get into it first let's get to this packaging this tiffany blue box the quality is just everything ashmere you did that but let's get into the goodies i have so many goodies in this bag as you see right now an edge band a edge brush lashes i mean and it goes on and on and on so <laughs> i'm so excited about this the makeup puffs too wow I'm just loving it at this point. The blue bonnet and they gave me some wig tape, but the robe, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Now the fun part, let's get into the details about this unit. This is the Waterwave Invisistrap Snug Fit 360 Transparent Lace Frontal Bleach Knots Pre-Cut Lace Wig. So I'm showing you the inside of the cap. You see all this parting space is perfect. You already see the band has a couple of combs in it, but let's get into the fact that the band has their name on it and it has that good elastic that makes it so good and snug on the back of your neck and it's detachable. So, I mean, right now you're just getting all the perks. Forgot to mention that this wig is 180% density, so you're getting such a good amount of hair. The comb in the back actually comes off, but if you want to wear it in an updo, then of course I do advise using that comb because you have your elastic straps on each side. And these are the straps that you pull to tighten the wig. What makes it great is that this wig is so adjustable for a small head, medium, large, anything, you name it. You can adjust your hair that's amazing the cap is just it's doing it for me right now i have my hair braided back and of course with my wig cap i decided to put just a little bit of my foundation on there using those powder puffs so perfect i feel like it was just going to make that blend effortless it's transparent lace and i always add a little bit of something but this is how i install my glueless units don't mind the braids <laughs> Of course, I had them braced to the back. They weren't laying this flat. But you see how I'm using that comb to secure the back of this wig? Yes, we want that snug fit. So I'm going to show you how natural this looks. So I put a couple bobby pins in it. But look at the baby hair in the back. If that's not giving seamless, what is it giving? So I'm just pulling it down in the front. I'm not going to have any baby hair throughout this whole really video. Except for like I will take uh, the edge brush and of course smooth back the edges a little bit. Because of course it comes up right to the top of the lace. So you do want to be able to smooth down those hairs. But you do not have to add baby hair. But if you want to, feel free to. But you see right now I'm adjusting these straps. Making it extra snug and fit my head perfectly so I'm just here for this when you finish adjusting the straps just make sure you tuck them away and hide them I got my edges out just a little bit just to have that natural feel but as you see I didn't even glue this down and look how it's laying on my scalp it's, it's giving what it needs to give and more it's so seamless and it's not even melted down yet it's time for the meltdown baby it's time for the meltdown baby <laughs> i'm so silly but yes we are melting this wig down as you can see i sprayed a little bit of this even holding spray on my edges which i would recommend spraying it um closer to your um hairline but like you know of course not on your hairline but because my cap scooted back my cap i kept playing around with the wig when i had it in a bun and i just didn't notice at first it scooted back that far but it's fine the way i take off my wigs i use a lot of water and a little bit of oil so it never damages my hair I didn't use as much even holding spray. I didn't want any crustiness as well. So I don't really get a lot of that residue look when I do spray my even spray. But because this lace was super transparent, I just sprayed a little bit less. So you'll see where the lace lifts just a little bit, but that's because I haven't put my melting band on. Once I put that melting band on and I use a little bit of my Go Glueless to mold back my hair better, then yeah, this, this lace ain't moving. I 
had my melting ban on for around like 10 to 15 minutes i had to just do a couple of things but as you see i shook this hair back and forth baby this hair is not moving now let's get into these styles this is how i style up my 360 wig i love this headband they gave me this headband and i'm obsessed i have so many headbands though but i want to wear this one because it didn't even match my outfit so yeah style number one of course cute little messy bun with the headband and yeah what you think about it Now style number two, you see that I'm playing with it a little bit because I wanted to do a updo again and I was like, let's do a little high pony. I feel like this pony is perfect for when you wanna go to the gym or you're gonna be outside running. Anything you wanna do and you just wanna tie that hair up and get it out of your face. I just think that this was super cute. It came out so cute. I was just defining the curls a little bit more just because I just took it out of the bun. But yeah, this high pony was giving what it needs to give. I was like, I could wear this anywhere. Like yoga class, Pilates, any of that, I recommend. So yeah, I just took my time showing you how I was diffusing these curls and how these curls was popping, okay? Popping. Look at this, okay? You can't tell me nothing. I absolutely love how I'm able to put this wig up into this high pony and not worry about my lace showing, but also having the headband to just even secure it even more. Yeah, yeah, this is it. <laughs> style number three let's get into it i kept the headband yes ma'am what i like about this is that every time you add a headband and you have a glueless unit you don't even have to do the meltdown right you just leave the headband on and you can use like a gold glue this or something on the edges and just style those edges up honey and you do not have to melt down but I'm already melted down, so of course. But what I liked about this that amazes me so much with this hair is I didn't add any more product. It was enough product in my hair from putting it in the ponytail. So I just sprayed it with water. And then look at how these curls are bouncing back again. You see this. I'm obsessed. Now for the last look. Here is style number four. It's gonna be half up, half down. So I'm just going to go ahead and secure this pony. What I love so much about this hairstyle and it makes it my favorite is you can always dress it up or down. You can wear some outfit that's classy, sophisticated, or you can dress casual. And either way, this hairstyle is so accommodating to both of the looks. So that's why I was like, let me go ahead and show you how you can do this hair with a 360 wig. I like putting the two pieces out in front just because it frames my face more, makes my forehead look a little bit smaller as well, but either way, it's fine. I'm using some of my Argan Oil Foam again and just securing this ponytail in place. Please ignore these parts because your girl is Russian. My final thoughts about this hair. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. With any curly hair, you're gonna expect some shedding and tangles, but we worked through that. This one was not too excessive. I like that. I love that it's pre-cut everything, pre-bleached, all of that. And it's glueless. And look at this hairline. You can do anything you want with this hairline. Even if you wanted to add the baby hair, you can do so. And it just looks so good. It looks natural. And so I, I really recommend this wig. So if you do try it out, please let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.